This got an anime? Yes. Plus sized elf anime. Confusing cultural Puritans on both sides. Yeah, because, uh, what is it? I bought one volume just because the synopsis said she likes french fries or something. <laughs> is it good? I, I don't know. It's only one volume. There's only so much I could grasp of it. You hmm, weren't compelled to buy volume two? Yeah, well, I have, I think, four volumes. And then I just stopped. I was like, I don't know. So the recently announced plus size elf, Elf Sanwa Yasebaranai uh, anime has got some online culture war Puritans up in arms and for opposite reasons. Plus sized elf is an upcoming anime series featuring Tomoatsu Naoe, a dietitian who meets an elf that needs his help. El Fuda. Oh dear Lord. Is- oh, wait. <laughs> There's the I help. forgot I forgot the synopsis. You're about to read it. El Fuda is stuck in the human realm after discovering a love for French fries that's made it so she can't fit her tummy into the portal back to the fantasy world. Was it there two inches wide? There you go. Now Oe's encounter with El Fuda opens the door for him to begin regularly encountering fantasy women who come to the real world, seduced by the allure of greasy food and modern comforts. Nice. Some social media users are taking issue with the series. Some accuse the series of normalizing fat and being woke. Meanwhile, others are accusing the show of body shaming and are upset that the VA for El Fuda, Ito uh, Ayasa, isn't plus size herself. <laughs> How dare you not hire fat actors? <laughs> they want to... Oh my god. It's got... No, they want the, the, the Giga Monster from that whatever podcast advisor <laughs> everyone can oh. <laughs> agree on one thing apparently this show Wait, just on. brought everyone together in hate Norlock, the destroyer. <laughs> uh, so here's what they had to say so woke ideology infecting anime never thought i saw the day I wish they didn't give her hentai boobs. Looks like fat fetish more than body inclusion. When are we going to stop openly objectifying women? Male characters aren't treated this way throughout anime. Yeah, they are. Moron. You just butt hurt that that boys love got canceled. <laughs> Damn, American media is going to mauled over this anime. What does that mean? Uh, my body positivity, though. Cast someone plus size. What the f- West Tards will never like this. I'm sure of it. Oh my god, the dub's gonna suck because they're gonna try and oh. find someone that's super fat to. They're gonna have freaking Makari all do it. Yeah, seriously. There's plenty of fat asses. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like, that's... I don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> oh no, the dub's gonna suck because, checks notes, any one of the normal voice actors is capable of playing the. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. At least the, the, one one like. <laughs> the dub's gonna suck because <laughs> we already know who's on the roster. It's gonna be True. accurate. <laughs> now, now to be clear, I like at one point I don't know why I didn't instantly think that. I mean, it was a while ago actually, so I wasn't really thinking about localizations. But I, I, I realized I'm like. I don't think plus size is a term the Japanese use. And as you, as you see in the title card, that's what the original like name is translated. Uh, Elf can't be on a diet or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I'd be curious if whichever company picks this up actually uses the normal uh, name. Because I can guarantee you people are probably seeing plus size and they're thinking, oh, woke or whatever. But as as you can tell, they're poking fun at her being a fat ass, so... I've got like a feeling it, Sentai is going to pick this one up. Yeah, I, I have a feeling that as well. Um, I and hope Monica, they don't use the seven they're going to cast title. Monica, and Monica's going to be like, uh, "Hey, Lucy, do you want to take the so role?" I, I like the idea that no matter who they cast, be, just simply because like the vast majority of the old guard of Funimation voice actors are overweight. That no matter who they cast, they're like, oh, do you really think I'm the fattest one here? Oh my god. That's the thing, it's yeah. a paradox. Because they'll be like, <laughs> right? oh, no, I don't want to voice it. No, because watch I'm just not catch fat. That's like when the when the showrunners or whatever, the casting director for The Witcher hired that one girl and it was to challenge beauty standards. Like, what the fuck does that mean? 
You think I'm fugly? <laughs> now watch that whoever they get cat whoever they cast is anorexic or something. It's pretty great that this is already so polarizing, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll watch it. All right, so originally launched back in 2016, the plus-sized elf manga ran for eight volumes through 2021 and was released in English by Seven Seas Entertainment. They described the original manga as such, the story of the elf struggling to lose weight after she discovered human french fries. Uh, now a kun, a massage therapist. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. He's a dietitian, according to the... A massage therapist is about to head home for the day when he's sat, saddled with a rather strange patient. This lovely lady has emerald eyes, pointy ears, and grew up in the forest. Everything about her screams elf, except for one thing, her bodacious body. It turns out she left her world, but loves junk food in this one. And now her obsession has caught up with her. Can Naue Kun help this lovable elf girl lose the weight and keep it off? Well, not if he's a massage therapist. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to massage it into the tits. Look, they're going to have a lot gonna... of, uh, just watch, they're going to have all these nightly uh, workout routines with each other. I mean, inside each other. I like how at the top of the article, you have the fat elf and then the skinny elf right next to her. Mm -hmm. Th this one, who looks almost identical to her. Yeah. From Delicious in a Dungeon, where they also eat good food. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's one thing you mentioned in here that gives me hope for this, that the, that the manga is done and it's only eight mm -hmm. volumes. Well, here's the problem. A they sequel a manga, sequel. plus oh, sized fuck. elf second helping, God localized as plus size elf supersized. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll take what it. Thanks, hell? localizers. No. <laughs> the diet what? didn't what? work. What the fuck? The, well, the original it? Seven Seas, like, I hate the title they gave it. I hope that Crunchy or Sentai doesn't use it. But now they're using Super Size. It's like, what? Are, are you leaning into it or what? <laughs> yeah, so that's been running since 2022. And uh, to coincide with the new Plus Size Elf anime, the manga will be re-released in new editions with brand new covers. Further details on the Plus Size Elf anime, like a production studio and a film uh, and a firm release date aren't yet confirmed. Okay, that's, yeah, the second one's still going. At least season one might be a full adaptation of the first manga series. 